everyone, I'm here today to show you our newest screen, which was designed especially for tangential users. This screen features buttons and readouts that allow users with machine types like drag knives, oscillating knives, water jets, and crease rollers to control those machines with Mach 4 for the best results. You'll notice a lot of buttons and options that are present on all of our default screens. I'm going to focus on what's different about the tangential screen and how it works. The extents buttons allow you to travel to the farthest points of the G-code file. There are no Z moves and you need to be extremely careful when using these buttons. Ensure all safety precautions are in place, including e-stop, stop limits, and limit switches if you have them. Let's load a G-code file and I'll show you. Now if I click X min Y max, the machine moves to the minimum value of X in the G-code and the maximum value of Y. You can also go to X max Y max, X min Y min, and X max Y min. You got all four corners covered. Moving over to the tangential tab, we have the lift angle and lift distance DROs. Lift angle is where you'll enter the maximum angle to enable knife lift to complete arcs. If Mach 4 thinks that the angle will be exceeded, X and Y motion will stop. The knife will lift out of the material a set distance, rotate to a more reasonable angle, and then lower back into the material. It's a pretty nifty corrective measure you can implement here. The lift distance is how far up and away from the work surface the knife will go during that move. Enable plane is a user input value that sets the height at which tangential rotation is enabled or disabled during operation. There are a few ways to set this up. If the top of the material is Z0 in your current work coordinate system, you would enter 0 in the enable plane box. Anytime Z travels below 0 and into negative values, tangential mode will be activated. If the machine table is Z0 in your current work coordinate system, you would set your enable plane to the thickness of your material. If you're cutting half inch stock, then you would set your enable plane to 0.5, for example. Then tangential mode will be activated whenever Z travels below that point. Now, if you just want tangential to stay on all the time, you can use a value larger than needed. If your Z never lifts above two in the current work coordinate system, and you want tangential mode to remain on throughout the cut, you could enter two in the enable plane box or three or four. Make sense? Arc smoothing is another user input DRO. This sets the resolution tolerance in arc to arc transitions. Finding this value is a lot like finding the right motor tuning values when you first set up your machine in profile. You will need to do some testing to find a value that eliminates jerky motion when cutting ellipses and long arcs. Once you find that value, it should be treated as a motor tuning constant. It will not change unless your hardware changes or you change it. The values of each of these DROs are stored in the parameter INI file within your profiles folder in your Mach 4 directory. You can set these values via G code using G10L50 as well. The tangential on button is arguably the most important one on this new screen. This button toggles Mach 4 in and out of tangential cutting mode. This can be useful for momentarily disabling tangential or turning it off for an entire project. That might be the case if you also have a milling head installed on your machine and need to use that for a project. Now let's take a look at tangential in action. If you look closely, you can see a small arrow where the tool head would be in the real world. When tangential mode is enabled, the arrow rotates as your knife head would. If you're running through your G-code before cutting and the arrow isn't rotating, double check your settings and make sure tangential is enabled. Check out the help docs for more information. Stay safe, be creative, and as always, happy CNCing!